I was called out to do some work on a very large black oak, Quercus Kelligai. The tree is located up in the mountains, kind of close to where I live, and I did this job with my friend Jeff. He was climbing and I was doing the groundwork Guess today. I better put my phone away. Which is why there's hands. some video of this process. <laughs> I think we centered it. That was good. So, what I really wanted to talk about is this tree has been worked on many, many, many times over the years. And I wanted to take a look at a lot of the old wounds and the old cuts and slice it open and see what is going on. Because it's really easy to look at a tree from the outside and and try to interpret and say, wow, it's healing up, it's looking pretty good. But you saw that wound on the outside, open it up, and it goes quite a bit worse than you might have imagined. And when you start looking throughout the entirety of the tree and you find defects like this everywhere, you know you've got some weaknesses that are ready to break. Well, our job was to lighten up the tree because it was very one-sided and it was starting to grow into the building. So we took off um, a fairly considerable limb and it, it was about 3,000 pounds. There you go, that's, that's a good shot. That's what it looked like before I opened it up and that's what's going on on the inside. So when you look at a tree and you see all these old wounds and all these areas where um, the tree has, has had work there we in go. the past, Whoa. Nice. It, it's that was a long um, bit of a drop there and I didn't interesting if you take the time and dissect the tree, because it'll tell you so much. Here's a cross section showing that half of this particular limb had dried out and was completely dead. So there was only half that was alive and the living tissue was going away quickly. This is interesting. As far as I can tell, all of this resulted from that one wound up there. It dried out completely. So I, uh, Decided to cut this one in half too to see what you can what you can discern by dissecting and I, and I really encourage you to do that you know do some rip cuts with your saw and open up it where you see old wounds you'll learn so much by taking just a few minutes and and slicing through the log and seeing what you find now check this out look at that how much decay there is inside now there was a lot of weight associated with this limb and this is what was supporting all that weight over a house over uh, an area where people are constantly walking uh, there's a liability that um, you, you just can't accept and the potential for damage to the structure is is very real like I said we took off about 3,000 pounds over this side of the tree and lightened it up considerably. That doesn't mean that the rest of the tree is safe because there are areas of decay like this everywhere in the tree. But what we concentrated on was the large limb that was going out horizontally in the long direction. Look at that. Look at how much drying out there is on that. There's a little bit of active cambium tissue going on, but so much of this has just dried out. Now, when people say, well, why did that happen? Well, you really have to spend some time and open it up and, and try to find, you know, what started all of that. You know, was it um, all related to a cut? Was it related to a, a, a tear? Um, here's a spot where I found where there, I looked at that and I thought, this looks like a healed over wound. And sure enough, it was. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. It wasn't a deep decay. And it completely encapsulated this cut. But you learn a lot. You make, make these little cuts to slice them open. Here's another one. Looks like there was an old wound there that healed up or compartmentalized, which is a better way of, of saying it. And you can see that there is internal decay. Maybe it's slowed down. Maybe it's almost stopped. This is interesting. This is the direction that that limb was going. And there is an internal... I think they call these wind shakes in the timber industry, but that was very, very weak. Now look at this. What's going on there? Is that where there was an old wound from a long time ago that 
grew up around? Is there a lot of internal decay in there? Well, I'm not going to open it up to find out, but it's uh, something that you have to think about. You have to look at all the potential areas of future decay. There were some interesting little birds floating around there. They weren't afraid of us at all. No. A blackhead? Yeah. Let me, uh, we lowered all the stuff yeah, down onto the, the deck okay? and ended up cutting it up up there and uh, hauling it all out of there. He kept all the firewood. Well, here we go. This is a before shot. No, wait a minute. That's that's after. That's at the end of the day. I think I got a before shot coming up. That's the clean out that we did. There we go. There's the before shot. And that's what it looks like after. Not bad. Still looks pretty good. Thanks for watching.